Welcome to the Morning Swim Show for Wednesday, September 1st, 2010. I'm your host, Peter Bush, and the Finise Monitor today will talk to Coach John Sakovich. He's the assistant swim coach at the Bowles School. Their guys were recently named the Swimming World Magazine High School Team of the Year for the 2009-2010 school year. And Coach Sakovich joins us right now on the Finise Monitor from Jacksonville. Coach, welcome to the Morning Swim Show. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good, and uh, thanks for having me on. It's a pleasure, and uh, congratulations to the team for, at least in our mock rankings, winning the big prize. Thank you. I know those guys uh, really appreciate winning it, as, as um, you know, the whole team does as well. Yeah, is that something that uh, the team talks about when they know they're going to be in the running or as they're preparing for a big meet? We did talk about it last year, and we did set the goals and, and had figured out uh, different ways of, of winning it, uh, whether it was you know loading up on the relays or the individual events, but um, it was a team goal right from the beginning. Now, I understand that you guys didn't necessarily go all out for your high school state meet because the way it timed out, you had a couple of big club meets coming up, you know, U.S. Nationals and things like that last fall winter time so was it true that you guys weren't fully shaved and rested for that high school meet um you know i think uh i mean we gave it our all i mean we went for it i don't i, I don't know if i would say that we weren't fully rested and shaved um you know we did have a goal of winning the the high school title as well as the you know for the state and for the national title as well as going on to the short course junior olympics and trying to win there i'm sorry um junior nationals but um you know, we we went for it ryan murphy is your big stud on the guy's side this year definitely one of the best young backstrokers in america right now who are some other names that are going to pop up this year on the national scene well, other than ryan we have um colin hamilton sergio lujan uh, both those guys are, um, uh, jun are seniors right now, um, as well as a couple of the kids that we think, um, you know, in another year or two are going to be uh, pretty studly. So we're, we're excited about our guys' team for the future. A lot of them just uh, wrapped up swimming at the Junior Pan Packs. Uh, for viewers who haven't been following as closely, you know, tell us about how everyone did, both guys and girls. Uh, the Junior Pan Packs, we just had Ryan Murphy there for us. Um, he went uh, best time in the 100 backstroke. Uh, it was close to his best time in the 200 backstroke that he went at Junior Nationals. But I think overall, you know, the experience of the team travel, international travel, uh, that sort of thing, I think is going to help him for Olympic trials and, you know, hopefully the Olympics in the future. So any break for uh, any break for Ryan, or has he got to get right back in the pool when he when he arrives back in Florida? Uh, his break might be the team, the flight coming back. Um, he, <laughs> he'll probably get a few days to readjust to the time zone. Um, he's been out west for you know three, four of the last five weeks, so he probably needs a couple of days to readjust to the Eastern time zone, and then he'll be back at it. Uh, we were, you know, 10 weeks outside of the high school state championships for Florida, so we don't have much time to, uh, you know, take any breaks right now. Well, good luck this season, Coach, and congratulations on last year. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. That's Coach John Sakovich joining us in the Finise Monitor. That's it for today's show. I'm Peter Bush reminding you to keep your head down at the finish. Since 1982, Swimming World Magazine has crowned boys and girls national high school champions, and in our September issue, we announced the two teams selected as the best in 2010. The Bowles School won their third overall boys title, while Carondelet won their first national championship. Our profiles on both teams begins on page 8. On page 16 is a look ahead to the future of women's swimming in the United States, as John Lone analyzes the future of several young swimmers who could lead the U.S. into the 2016 Olympics. Synchronized swimming at the junior level in, in the United States gets its due on page 18 with a review of the 2010 Synchro Age Group Championships. Great workouts take planning, preparation, and attention to details, and Carlin Pipes Nielsen takes you through the steps to ensure a successful workout in the pool on page 20 in our swim section. 
Beth De La Rosby, the head swim coach at Carthage College, takes part in a Q&A in the swim technique section on page 24, along with a look at the training of Amanda Croy. National Age Group Record Center Long Gutierrez gets profiled in our junior swimmer section on page 29, and Age Group Swimmer of the Month Janardin Burns of Mission Viejo is featured on page 31. If you are not yet a subscriber to Swimming World magazine, just go to SwimmingWorld.com, click on the subscribe link.